Let's begin with a small exercise. Raise your hand if you like arrogant people. Mm, just as I figured, no hands. Nobody likes a person who blows his or her own trumpet. I did it on my own. I'm the best. I have the most followers on social media. I'm just such an amazing person. Hearing those words make me cringe. Whilst on the other hand, humility is a quality that everyone admires and respects. Humility sounds like an old-fashioned and outdated trait that is no longer important. In modern society, there is the idea, if you got it, flaunt it. Well, that doesn't make you a nice person. So what is humility? A quick search of humility from Google brings up synonyms like meekness, uh, lowliness, submission. Generally speaking, humility is seen as having a low esteem of one's own importance or accomplishments. And this is an outdated definition of the phrase and it deserves an overhaul. Humility is really to develop an accurate picture of oneself, both your faults and your gifts. Humility is to feel a sense of joy about your accomplishments and abilities while maintaining a healthy level of awareness about the love and the support that allowed you to get where you currently are. You realize that it wasn't all your own doing and to frequently thank the Almighty and all those who helped you and supported you through your journey. Part of humility is to admit your mistakes and to apologize. Whether you've made a mistake as a boss, parent or a friend, People will appreciate the fact that you're willing to admit that you're not perfect and that you're working to improving yourself and the situation. Admitting your mistakes shows that you're not arrogant. How you do anything is how you do everything. If you're a good person to friends and mentors, but you're rude to waiters at a restaurant, that speaks directly to your character. Treat every single person that you meet like family and it will make you a happier and better person.